It can be annoyingly easy for thieves to nip your motorbike by rolling it into a truck or a van or simply walking off with it. To help put the brakes on this type of activity, there are portable locks for brakes. And with this little device, the bike can't be rolled away. When you park your bike, a disc brake lock takes some of the worry out of leaving your motorbike unguarded. Simply clip it onto the motorbike's brake disc, turn the key and the wheels won't budge. Equipped with an alarm, this lock can also alert bystanders if someone's trying to mess with it. Before they manufacture the lock, they cut the keys. There are two for each lock. The employee inserts two blank key blades into milling machines that carve eight different notches into them. The combination of notches is one of over a million possible key codes. The machine prints the key code information onto a card. In the meantime, the employee inserts the keys into a slot and brushes inside the slot, clean them. The assembler slips the matching keys onto a ring along with the key code card to keep them all together. She installs batteries to power lights in the key. To make a lock to match the keys, the worker refers to the key code card to select notched brass wafers. She stacks them in an assembly unit so that the notches in the wafers match the bits cut into the key blade. She places the lock cylinder above the wafers and activates a spring that lifts them into the cylinder. She removes it from the assembly device, then caps the cylinder, encasing the wafers. A key is checked to confirm it's a match. Grease is brushed into two gaps in the cylinder, and locking bars are inserted into each one. The grease holds them in place as a steel sleeve is slid over the cylinder. She tries the keys again to confirm that everything works. Next, the mechanism is enclosed in a protective case. The open end is secured with a metal plug and two pins. Bolts are now inserted into the lock. In operation, these bolts will be pushed into the brake disc to lock it. A metal sliding cover protects the keyhole when not in use. And a plastic mechanism slides it open or closed. The lock bolt is now complete. They assemble the outer lock body. The two parts come together to form a slot to fit over the brake disc. A custom measuring tool is used to confirm that the hole for the lock mechanism is the correct size. They apply lubricant and distribute it evenly. Steel balls are slotted into compartments in the lock mechanism. When the lock is engaged, these balls will protrude and keep it engaged. The locking bolt is put into the outer casing. It's permanently secured with a plastic spring, which snaps into place between the steel casing and the lock. More lubricant is added, and the lock is ready for the alarm system to be fitted. The alarm has been pre-assembled at another factory. It fits into a compartment in the casing. With the help of a mechanized tool, the alarm is pressed into the casing. A plastic dowel is slid into the lock to confirm that the alarm mechanism engages. Next, the casing section that was removed for the alarm installation is replaced and secured with a screw. The lock is polished with a buffing wheel. A drop of oil and the metal gleams. Now complete, this motorbike brake disc lock looks pretty and sounds annoying. Really annoying, I thank you.